The fourth question says x upon x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. And seeing this question, you would realize, okay, this looks pretty simple, sir. We can directly write the partial fractions using our idea. So, i which is equal to x upon x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 dx will have to be written as sum of partial fractions. And what are those partial fractions which we want to look at? We want to look at, okay, x upon x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 is equal to a upon x minus 1 plus b upon x minus 2 plus c upon x minus 3. Now, for the board people, it is important how you represent your answer, how what methods you apply. But uh, for the competitive exam people, they are only interested in actually the solution, the final answer, right? So, the final answer can be obtained easily. For this, the value of a, b and c can be obtained easily. a, for a will have to substitute x equal to 1 over here by removing this. So, 1 upon minus 1 minus 2 is 1 upon 2. That is the value of a. b, the value is We'll substitute x equal to 2 over here, 2 upon 1, 1, 1 minus 1. This is 2 upon 1, 2 upon minus 1, which is minus 2. C, are we doing this orally? Yes, we are doing this orally, but I hope you get the idea. We've discussed this method in the previous three questions, right? So, x equal to 3 will be substituted over here by removing this. This becomes 3 upon 2 into 1, 3 upon 2. This is what I get. This is what I get, right? Okay, but this is a shortcut approach, sir. We'll have to right using a longer approach and the board examinations and uh, that longer approach looks like this please take a look at this so we'll compare the numerators x is the numerator which is equal to this let's pack this in a box and for the time being let's forget about it we never did this so this numerator is equal to this on the right hand side a times x minus 2 x minus 3 plus b times x minus 1 x minus 3 plus c times x minus 1, x minus 2 is what you get. Take a look at this carefully. This is the LCM. And after taking the LCM, only the numerators are compared over here. Okay. And once you see this approach, what are you going to do? In the next step, what you say is, okay, this is always equal to this. So, why not substitute some particular values of x and get the values of a, b and c? You could do that. For example, if you substitute x equal to 1, this becomes 0, this equals 0. This is minus 1, this is minus 2. So, this is 2a is equal to 1. So, a becomes 1 by 2, okay. That is what we have done in the numerator, but orally, okay. But, the NCRD people are lovely people and they want you to solve using another approach for that matter. What is that other approach? By using comparison of coefficients. They say, okay, this is an identity, solve it like an identity. Don't use any shortcuts. So, what we will do is, we will solve it using that idea by comparing. So, comparing tells me that Coefficient of x square on the left hand side is 0 and coefficient of x square is a x square b x square c x square what is what do you have 0 is equal to a plus b plus c by comparing the coefficients of x square by comparing the coefficient of x that is 1 on the left hand side what do you get on the right hand side is minus 5a minus 4b minus 3c minus 5a minus 4b minus 3c what next the constant term on the left hand side is 0, the constant term on the right hand side is 6a, 3b, 2c. And once I reach this stage, what I will do is simply solve the values of a, b and c from these three equations. Looks complicated, but it is not very complicated. We will have to eliminate one of the variables using one equation. Let us use this equation. The value of c is minus a minus b. Let us substitute it over here. And this equation becomes what? 1 equals minus 5a minus 4b minus 3 times minus a minus b will be 3a plus 3b, right? So, minus 5a plus 3a will be minus 2a minus 4b plus 3b will be minus b. Oh, similar calculations went in the previous question, right? Yes. Once again, this is minus 2a minus 2b because of this substitution. 6a minus 2a is 4a. 0 equals 4a and 3b minus 2b is minus plus b. This is what you get. Adding these two, you get 2a equals 1 or a will be equal to 1 by 2. b is minus 4a, b is equal to minus 2. a plus b plus c is 0, so therefore c will be equal to 3 by 2. And 
this and this are the same. Yes, they were supposed to be same. They are exactly same. That's that's how you obtain the partial fractions, right? So this expression can be done as integral of a upon x minus one, which is one by two over x minus one, b over x minus two, which is minus two over x minus two, c over x minus three, which is three by two over x minus three dx. Okay, and after reaching this stage, this is one by two is okay. So log modulus x minus one minus two is okay. This is log modulus x minus two plus three by two is okay. This is log modulus x minus three plus constant term, and that is my answer for this question. As you can see over here, this is the final answer for this particular question. Over here, fourth question.